friends, our colleagues from ADD, President, who I have just allowed to go away, President Melopi, because today we are launching an investment that to produce panels, value-added product panels that will enable us to put up a house, low-cost housing for people in 10 days. In 10 days. <laughs> this is an investment that we attracted to come into this country last year when I visited China. Very important. So let me recognize Today, MDC President, Honorable Mutati, who is also a cabinet minister as President Melogi. Let me acknowledge the presence of the leadership of MDC. We have MDC which is Mutati, we have NDC in the alliance, and today we have a representative representing M NDC, Mr. Joseph Kasson. Where is my Kasson? Will you be? Ah, yeah. In Let me also acknowledge the presence of my dear colleague, Another alliance president, yes, Muyemba. Are you here? Yes. Muri Muri Atati. Let me recognize my colleague, our colleague, who is representing NAREP today, Mr. Ezra Ngrube. Please, you may stand up and wave at the people. Thank you very much. So we have outside of the MMD, we have five alliance leaders that are here who we have worked together with over the years. Let me acknowledge my cabinet colleagues that are here members of the cabinet, let me recognize our members of parliament that are here and others, but also more importantly to recognize the leadership of the UPND. The leadership of the UPND through the Secretary General, Honorable Amanda, I took a amenda, all the NMC colleagues that are here, all the provincial leaders that are here through the Lusaka province leadership, all the district leaders that are here, all the constituents leaders that are mm. ah, I see them there. Manja, 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 manja. Zambia. And all the world leaders, all the world leaders, all the branch leaders, and the polling station committee leaders, that's where our membership is at the branch at the polling station. We recognize you. But the general membership that is here, you who are here, we are very grateful that you are here. Let me acknowledge the words that have been spoken by those who have spoken before me. All of them are correct. All of them are befitting. This party knows, UPND knows what suffering means.
This party knows what persecution means. This party understands what democratic space means or the none of it. This party understands. I must acknowledge the presence of our bus drivers. Bus drivers. Thank you. And all the councillors. This party knows what suffering means. This party understands what the absence of democratic space means. Tell the guys behind here. Let's, let's, let's close our session. Yes, musicians. Guys behind there, let's be of one accord. I was saying that this party knows what a rough journey means. Resilience. This party understands that. This party understands losing your own party members. Young people. Joseph Kaunda, Lawrence Banda, and many more. This party understands that. This party has understood what it is to lose your leader just a few months before elections. That man there, Anderson Kamela Mazo. This party understands. This party has swung against the tide for many years. Yet this party understands that with all the troubles that we've gone through, we as UPND understand the importance of loving one another. Understand the importance of accommodating even those that may be vicious or may have been vicious against you. If you want to save the country, all of the people of this country, we as UPND must understand fully what it means and what it takes. So we watch our friends trying to mimic this alliance and we say, Mwache mm. Pasana. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. Enduring these problems to form government under the most brutal regime we have ever experienced. With Tusakatwanda Lama, where people were going to bed to sleep on a mattress and a pillow full of cash. We understand that. This party understands the meaning of tolerance. This party understands that revenge is not for us. Yes. This party understands that the revenge is not for us. It's for God. Because if we had to engage in revenge on the 16th of August 2021, if I had allowed these guys here, I knew in my mind that these guys have lost their friends who were killed. And if I had allowed these guys to revenge on the 16th of August 2021, there would have been no country called Zambia. I know the damage these guys would have done. I know. Zambia! Zambia! Because I know that these guys knew who killed their friends. I know that these guys know who was beating them in Kulima town. 
I know that these guys knew who was beating them at Intercity there. These guys know who was America 1, who was America 2. These guys know. Now, yes, these guys knew, know, up to now, who was operating Kamgod there. If I did not provide leadership to the annoyance of these guys, because these guys were angry against me, but I knew the consequences of their capabilities and the damage they would have done to those who did damage to them and their friends, to those who killed Mapezi, Lawrence, Joseph. They know. I knew it is the responsibility of leadership to cool the situation down. When the heat is too much, any good leader must cool the environment down. So I stand here on this day as we celebrate our 60 years of independence, knowing that I alone, after our results were announced on the 16th of August, 2021. After someone resisted, we knew we had won the elections. We voted on the 12th, isn't it? Yes. By 13th of August evening, we knew we had won the election. But we were patient 13th of August, 14th of August. A lot of things happened during those days. I know. 15th of August and 16th came. If I did not act correctly, this country will be on fire. And uh, today I stand to thank you guys for listening to that. Today I stand here to thank these women over there who suffered the most in the markets, who were chased out of marketplaces and never allowed in the markets. But yet today, because of our action, we are trading in the market side by side with the very peer people who persecuted us. That's what leadership is. I know you are angry with me, you guys. I know. I know. that these alliance partners were facing every day. Why are you supporting this guy who will never be allowed to run this country even if he wins elections? I know. They were being told this particular one. Even the ethnic issues were made normal. This Tonga chap this one who will never be allowed to enter state house. So why are you supporting him? Because even if he wins, he will never be allowed to enter state house. The temptations were there to these alliance partners to say we are wasting our time. But they stood their ground. I want to thank all the alliance partners for your magnanimity, for your resilience. Because some walked away, some were enticed even to talk divisive language. And today the law has caught up with them. But they want to blame other people. They must blame themselves for breaching the law. But thank you to the alliance partners and the members for your love of Zambia. That's all I can call it. It was a demonstration of the love of this country. I want to thank the UPND leadership, NMC members, 
all our candidates then who today are councillors, deputy mayors, mayors, members of parliament, ministers today. Because they too could have developed court feet under those circumstances, very difficult circumstances. Nali Obuta. Nali Amuna. Nali Amuna. I want to thank you guys, you guys here, representing the country, Vanda, all of you. I chose to speak this way today because I was figuring out how should I come out, how should I present myself. Now, you know that acting correctly builds a country. If you act wrongly, you destroy the country. So, I want to thank the people of Zambia for making this party and the alliance partners make it under impossible conditions. So today, we thank Dr. Moon and your team for your belief that this is the right group to work with, even when there's so much noise in the streets from a small number of people who believe that they can do better, having destroyed the country. I don't understand the mind frames of certain people. I just don't understand. I'm lost. But the MMD has made this decision to be part of the unified Zambia. I want us to clap for the MMD. Others would have said, ah, no. Drought has brought food insecurity. Drought has brought energy insecurity. You have to be a resolute individual to understand that this is a transitory period. These are challenges that come because of the way we ran the country before. We should have invested in diversified energy 15 years ago and not relied on water only. We should have invested more in our core, our core resources 15, 20 years ago. We didn't make these decisions. And God has brought a drought, colleagues, Vice President. God brought this trap, I've been talking to you about it, to wake us up, to say you are living dangerously. Now, with the drought, we made the decision as a government that we will not allow any Zambian to die of hunger. And we are feeding our people under the law. Today, we are determined that through God's word, ways, as he always says, my ways are not your ways. That's God speaking. God's ways are not our ways. He teaches us things. Even bringing us, the one who was beating us and killing us, was God's way to show the people of Zambia who were not listening that this is not the leadership I want. That's God's way. But this drought is now going to make us more resilient. We are going to irrigate more so that we produce food. We are going to have solar, coal, clean coal technologies. We are going to have wind, geothermal, electricity, so that the next time the drought comes, we'll be better prepared. That's simple. Simple that. So we want to thank MMD again, Alliance Partners, UPND, Rank and File, for your accommodation, your tolerance, you have no choice, if you any members. If you want to build a resilient country, a strong country, a united country, you have to have big chests. You have to accommodate other citizens. God gave us only one country called Zambia, which we must all share. If you didn't accommodate others like the MMD, you are driving them away. When you drive them away, you are basically 
investing in divisions in the country. You know who I'm going to do? You drive MMG away. You kick them. You are investing in divisions in the country. What do you want? Division or unity? Unity! Unity or division? the United Army. I want to see the hands of our Come here. Let me teach you a slogan and do it properly. One Zambia, when I say one Zambia, you answer one nation. When I say one nation, you answer one, nation, you answer one people. One Zambia. One nation. Who was Mwengo? One Zambia, one nation, one nation, one people. Let's repeat. One Zambia, one nation, one nation, one people. One Zambia, one nation, one nation, one people. We walk Kaunda's path. Simple. Simple. We walk Kaunda's path. This particular part of his path of unity. There's no option to unity. There is no alternative to unity. So, what we're doing today is doing the correct thing. We had to delay today because we had to ask our national management to approve this which we are doing today. I want to thank Dr. Mungo for your tolerance. I thought you, I'm sure you thought there's a game being played here. I have learned lessons myself, having suffered the most. You must have a big chest. You must have space for insults. Even from kids on social media. TikTok, TikTok, zero one, zero two, is a TikTok. You have to have space for that. So thank you for your tolerance. That we needed to do it properly with the endorsement of the leadership. Where is it? Oh, you. Where? Very good. That lady there knows endurance, yes. knows suffering, knows being brutalized by PF. That one has a broken rib there. But she knows what it means to walk the path of goodness. Now they can go. They used to tell you to me that even which will age that put up an engineer. You, you are from this north. What are you doing there? That one. And I said, Chimel, follow your heart and your mind. There she is. There. So thank you for following your heart and your mind, doing that which is correct for the country. There is room for everybody in the house of unity. There is room for everybody. Nyumba kachepa. nyumba, So colleagues, let's welcome this decision of MMD, UPND, Alliance, those who have been there. The, the truth of the matter, many sometimes, is that Dr. Mumba is not going to replace him. Everybody has a role to play. The truth of the matter is that this alliance does not replace the vice president's role, the Republican vice president's role. Her role, her job, her contribution is already kept. All of us come in to perform our roles. I was brought up in a family where at a new time, boys of my age, we used to share a new 18 of us. 18. 
When you are men, you know how to share what is there. Because everybody must take a piece. That's my message. I don't want to take your time. This is a good day. Six years of independence. Six years of relative unity and stability. We are one of the few countries in this region that has not experienced conflict. God loves us. God loves us. I want you to repeat. God loves us. God loves us. We love God. Dr. Mumba, your two us are straightforward. We are a God-loving group of people. We are a Christian nation. Everything we do, God leads the way. No doubt about it. You have heard my message before that this president reinforces Zambia as a Christian nation. This president also has many friends globally, including those who believe in same-sex marriage. This president has been able to tell those friends that out of ten, we agree on eight things. Amongst the two things we don't agree with is same-sex marriage. And many would fear that if you say that, donor funding will be withdrawn. No. If we are agreed on eight things, and only two we don't agree, and this is one, because we are Christian, Christians, a Christian nation, we are Africans. Then if you break our friendship, you were never our friend. You were lying. You were not our friend. Your second request is another obvious one. Unity. If I had you right. We are exposing unity here. Without unity, we cannot achieve much. Colleagues, without unity, anything we do will not work. Conflict, instability. Now I've been serving you as your chief servant for three years. I understand even more the importance of peace, security, stability as a platform for development. I understand it more because I'm the chief Shushushu now. I'm the chief Shushushu. I am one who is involved in keeping, helping to keep peace and stability in other countries. When you lose peace and stability, you will not recover your country. I don't want to mention names. You know that some of the countries around we should never go that way. So you need to start is really mandate to us. I say to this lady, Vice President, every now and then, that unity is a prerequisite to anything we want to do which is progressive. There is no option. The country has returned its normalcy after the 24th, when was the, no, no, hang on. When was the, uh, when were we sworn in? 21? 24th. 24th August is after the 24th of August. Let me remind you of that. We have brought back law and order in this country. Yes. We promised law and order, we have brought back law and order. Yes. Old habits linger on. Some people try and behave the way they behave before. You go to the intercity now. You can wear red, you can wear green, you can wear blue. Nobody will attack you there. This is the result of the change of government. So we can say we've delivered on that. People start one or two things, old habits, as I said, they are, but we, we count them down. We are now trading in the market. There is my friend here. Kulima Tower. Kulicheka. Kulima Tower Ilicheka. Ilicheka. Kuli Frigo. Musebeza Chave Guino. Kunale Musebeza Guino, 
before 24th uh, August 2021. Sikunali magazi moja. Sikunali kondo moja. Na kwa inter city bus stop. Sikunali kondo. Iliko kondo manje. You can take that. Deliver it. Deliver it. Today, Vana Vana Ripunkala Pananda go Panda school because the Mai Vaka Vanafa. The mother is dead, the father is single, orphan, double, orphan. We promise that we'll take them to school. Are they not in school today? Yeah. Is there no free education today? Muzipase Manja. Ten point plan, which Dr. Mumba said. One of it was law and order, to restore law and order. We are there. Another was to bring free education so that all the children of Zambia can get the opportunity to have. And it's there. We promise that councils will be paid on time. Today, councils are paid on time. We promise that. We promise that all those who live in the constituencies, we will give CDF money equivalent to a million dollars per year per constituency. Today we are sitting on, next year we are sitting on 36.1 million quarter per constituency per year, more than a million dollars. Zambia, one Zambia. One nation, one people. I can go on. We deliver the commitment on that. We say retirees should not wait until they retire before they get their money so that they can invest in a house, in a business. NAPSA, can NAPSA 20% pass with the drop? It is delivered. <laughs> I can go on. We say that all our men and women who are serving in missions in harm's way, peace missions, the Boma used to deduct 50% of their money. Today, we said, as we committed, today we are delivering all our men and women in uniform, serving outside the country. When they return, we give them 100% of their allowances. <laughs> so, if you want to come back in 2026, go and negotiate with those soldiers that I will withdraw your 50% again. Go and negotiate with the mother who is not paying school fees. Go and negotiate with the student who is getting more bursaries now and tell them that 2026 is near where so I'm going to take away free education. Go and negotiate with them. Go and negotiate with the councils that when I come back, near where vote for me so that your salaries will be outstanding for 15 months. Go and talk to the councils. Zambia, go and tell the marketeer who is the MDC, who is NDC, who is NAREP, who is M4CE, who is NDD, who is UPND, and tell them that when I come back, I will chase you from the market again. Go and negotiate with them and see the answer they will give you. Go and negotiate. Go and tell Unza students that teachers are very wapa Unza. Go and tell the students that those who are getting bursaries, now bursaries will be taken away. Go and tell the students. Go and tell so many here. Guys, this is not a joke. Dr. Mumba, 
and my dear colleagues, Mutati, Mirupi, Yasmiemba, Vice President Ezra Ngrube, Joseph Kasonde, and all these people who believe in a country that is united. When we are coming, when we come back to Alaga Irapu, we are going to start now beating you again. Yes. Rains. 